Christmas and Happy New Year's. This is just a really quick video to say Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, I'm not going to be doing a end of the year recap like I had said before. Um, there's just too much of our lives that that is private now that we have to keep to ourselves that if I try to do an end of the year recap it would be very 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 boring and really not worth making. However, um, I will update you on just a couple of things quickly. First of all, I have an extra video I'm going to be making. Um, I'm going to make it later tonight, so I'll probably look virtually the same. I might change my clothes or something. But um, that is about the whole Logan situation again. It's not that I want to revisit it, because trust me, I do not. But when I popped onto my profile, my main profile, to say Merry Christmas to everybody, um, I found messages there waiting for me telling me that, once again, I've been brought up and I'm being blasted everywhere and people are being directed to my YouTube and directed everywhere to spy on me and find out the real story about my pedophilia and all that. And since I'm about to take another hiatus, I really want the story out there again. I mean, I've said everything I'm going to say already, but these people are there looking for drama and looking for proof of what a sexual deviant I am so they're not going to go looking for old stories and I think I, I I probably already took the Logan story down because we're not together so why am I going to have how we fell in love and all I'm not going to have that up so uh I'm going to retell the story again now that I'm away from it and now that I'm more clear-headed than I was and I'm going to try to explain logically everything that happened without covering for him or trying to put a nice spin on it We'll see how that goes. If I'm not happy with it, I won't release it, but I'll, I'll do my best because um, I'm just, I know it's feeding the trolls. I'm not trying to feed the trolls, but there comes a time when it's, you're offline and all anybody has to go by are the lies or they could also see your side of it and they can make a decision for themselves. Most people won't care and they'll just want to believe the worst because it's drama and it's entertaining. But even if there's one person out there that is smart enough or has their own, you know, mind to where they could hear what I'm saying and understand the reality of the situation, then at least this one person I've gotten to who understands that that's not the way things are. And so it's that one person that I'm trying to reach out to, if that makes sense. Onwards now, so updates. Um, as you notice, all my lip piercings are gone. <laughs> um, I was having a really hard time. I know I wasn't supposed to talk about this, but baby wise having a really hard time trying to kissy kissy and I've got spikes and things like that. And, um, I might end up having to remove these too. I'm not sure, but for now all I had spikes down here and all the spikes and stuff. It just, I couldn't even fully, you know, get a nice kiss in without it being metal. And it just, it was getting in the way, uh, of skin to skin kind of you know so I thought it was best to get rid of those I kind of miss them but I have others so it was a worthy sec not really sacrifice it was a worthy reason it was a good reason to do what I did so in case anybody wonders from here on out in my videos why I don't have my lip rings anymore I took them off just to have a little bit, a little bit more ability to get close without hurting and stabbing and having little hands claw and grab. It's already hard with these, but I'm trying, but it's so many together in one place was really, really hard. So I just, you know, <coughs> sorry. You also might notice this. This is, I'm actually on a heart monitor. So this is a heart monitor that I have right now. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's actually monitoring right now as I'm talking. This box here is to send um, my stats or whatever. If I feel like something's happening, I push this button and it uploads it directly to the company. Um, it uploads it so you'll never really see this full. But this one here, that's just the battery. And up there it says monitoring. Um, I have been having a lot of heart problems lately. And uh, the other, like right before Thanksgiving, um, actually I think two days, two days or a day before Thanksgiving, 
I had another um, attack of uh, SVT like I had when I was in New Zealand. That's a supraventricular tachycardia. Um, Josh and I were cleaning up the house and I bent over to pick up something and I just felt faint and my heart just stopped for a second and then it just sped up. And um, it's exactly like it was last time where your heart just it beats so fast it doesn't have a full beat. It just kind of flutters and flashes and you feel like you're going to have a heart attack and I knew what it was and it was so scary. It's always scary. And I laid down and I, um, I kind of pounded on my chest a little and I took whatever I could fit in my mouth, like I think it was uh, one of his bottles of vape juice or whatever, I, I put the bottom in my mouth and I just blew on it because when that happens, you need to lay down, put your feet up and blow into something solid because you're trying to build pressure in your chest that will help um, calm down your heart. And so I did that, but we called 911 anyway because if I can't lower my heartbeat, then I'll probably end up having a heart attack. So we called them, they came down, and I didn't want to go to the hospital because since I was able to calm my heart down, there's really no reason to go to the emergency room. There's, what could they do for me that I hadn't already done myself? But they did tell me I need to see a cardiologist and um, get on a monitor because I've been having a lot of palpitations lately as well. So I'm on a monitor and I um, have an appointment for a cardiologist, a blood test done, all kinds of stuff. and. So we're trying to see what to do, what's happening, and how that goes, and uh, whatever. So it's a little worrying, you know, that's gone this far. I've been on a halter monitor before, which is only 24 hours, but I have to wear this um, until next year. I have to wear it for uh, about a week or so and um, see if it picks up anything. Last night my heart was going off pretty bad so I had to send in a recording and it uses like cell phone towers so pretty much as soon as you make a recording it uploads it via cell phone tower to the company so she said that this thing it holds it holds 20 recordings but it should never be full because it'll automatically upload it so aside from that um we're doing really good I mean I I'm not looking forward to releasing my other videos, the other parts of the q and I don't know if by the time I upload this, I will have released those or not. If I haven't, um, then just know ahead of time. I'm hesitating a little bit because the last two are talking about really sensitive things that we didn't want to talk about or put out there. If I have, that's still true. <laughs> um, we just don't really want to put that out there. I, I've, I've kind of locked myself down, only releasing stuff that I want to release and that's become little like smaller and smaller and smaller as time's gone by and so it's really kind of intimidating to put something that personal out there and I know the backlash I know the kind of people that are going to be watching it but you know I don't know I just rather I guess have have that stuff out there because like the questions that we got so many people asked the same thing and so we, Josh and I talked about it and we figured well 90% of the questions are focused on two things, baby stuff and his family. And so we're like, Let, we're just going to do it. And so we did. And we really enjoyed doing it. But now that time has passed, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to release it. But we'll see. I, I will release them 100%. I just don't know when, before this or after this. But um, that's all I have to say for now. I will talk to you guys soon. And... Um, I hope you have a great new year and I hope 2020 is a lot better than 2019 was. Take care everyone. I miss you and I'll see you when I see you.